What's going on folks and welcome to another brief overview of a dope game, the series where I take a cool game you might not have heard of and share my thoughts on it with you guys. I'm Bows Phoenix and today we're taking a look at Aragami, now out on the PS4 and PC. Let's jump in. So let's start with the basics here. In this game, you'll be playing as Aragami, a vengeful spirit summoned by a girl called Yamako who has been imprisoned in the fortress city of Kiryu. Yeah, I probably said that wrong, but shut up, weebs. Anyway, it's now your mission to sneak past tons of guards, or kill them if that's your thing, in order to save Yamako from what's pretty much been foreshadowed as certain death. Being that you're pretty much a manifestation of darkness and vengeance, you'll be bending the powers of darkness to your will to avoid or kill enemies and solve puzzles. Those of you that have played Tenchu back in the day on the original PlayStation and have been looking for a game that plays homage to it will probably feel right at home playing Aragami. It's not quite as in-depth as Tenchu was, but it's definitely dripping with that sort of flavor. Moving on, I really like the fact that there isn't really a HUD in this game. The only thing you really need to know about your character is how much shadow energy you have left, which is displayed on Aragami's cape. If the outline is white all the way down, you've got a full bar of energy essentially. If it turns red, you're out of the shadows, and if it's black, you're hidden in them. Restoring your energy is simple as you only need to hide in the shadows. As for health, there really isn't any. Any hit from an enemy is pretty much a one-hit kill. I really like this whole setup overall though because it keeps you focused on thinking about how to get through each area and you aren't super worried about pickups for energy and such. As for the combat in Aragami, there really isn't any face-to-face -face fighting per se. It's more about trying to avoid enemies and stealth killing any that get in your way. As you progress through the game, you'll find scrolls that act as ability points that you can spend to unlock new shadow powers. There's apparently a shadow dragon that eats dudes, you'll get kunai later on, and there's various and sundry other things you can do along with those, which in my opinion helps to keep the gameplay fresh and gives you a nice little toolbox to deal with each situation you encounter. The story in the game seems pretty straightforward so far, but to be honest, I'm not terribly far into the game. I do have a feeling so far that all isn't as it seems. I don't really want to say more though because I don't want to spoil it too much for you guys. If you pick this game up and play it though, let me know what your speculations on it are. Lastly, pretty much the one and only issue I'm having with Aragami right now is that the performance on PC seems kinda lackluster. I'm running this on a GTX 1070, which for those of you that know, is a monster of a graphics card, and my frames per second are kind of all over the place. Now, it could be me, but I have seen plenty of people reporting this in the Steam reviews for this game. It seems generally like it's just poorly optimized for PC. I mean, this game is pretty, but it doesn't look like it'd be too graphically taxing at all. This isn't game breaking by any means, but smooth performance does make things a lot more enjoyable, so hopefully we'll see a patch in the future that fixes some of the optimization issues. Overall though, this is a solid game. I love the low poly cell shaded art style, the stealth is pretty fun if a little on the bare bones side, and there are tons of ways to reach an objective. You really get to choose how you do things in this game. Lastly, the story is intriguing enough to keep me playing. I'm actually really interested to find out what's going on here, and for less than 20 bucks on Steam, you can't ask for more in a game. I'm interested to see what you guys think of this game though, and if you've played it, I'd like to know what your thoughts are on it. But that's gonna do it for me today, folks. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like down below because it helps me out a ton here on YouTube. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more gaming content. I put out something new pretty much every day, so there's always something to watch around here. Until next time, though, I'm Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.